This is the Wineus K9 video projector. In my video, I'm going to show you how to get the best image settings from this video projector. I'm going to show you quickly how to set it up and some important setup tips. And also, I'm going to show you the usual like what comes in its box, the controls and the ports on this video projector, what are its specifications and we'll be testing it, of course. So let's start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. It is really very well protected. So this is everything you get in the box. Power cable, HDMI cable, remote control, the projector, a brand kit, and then a user manual. Let me show you now the projector's controls. You have on the top here this button to control the power on, power off on the projector. And then for the ports of this projector, on the back of the projector, you have here an RJ45 Ethernet port, two USB ports, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. This is the audio jack, this is the infrared receiver, and this is a power connector. On the bottom of the projector, you have this one here to adjust the tilt of the projector. And this thread here is quarter inch for the tripod. And these are four rubber feet. On the front of the projector, you have, of course, the projector's lens. It is very well protected. And this is a nice touch that they provide you protection for the lens. And this here is a sensor for the autofocus. And it has protection from the dusts. So here it is on the side. And this is the other side. And this one can be removed to be cleaned. Let me show you how to remove it with a plastic prying tool. Never use a metal prying tool to remove plastic because you might break it. So here it is. It is easily removed. So this way you can clean the filter that you see here. So let me put it back and make sure that the openings here of the filter, you don't squash them. So put it here first and then put it back like this. And here it is installed. For the specifications of this projector, it has a native resolution of Full HD 1920x1080p. It can also display 4K. We're going to test this. And the display technology is LCD and the light source is LED, which is really very good. It has a refresh rate of 60 Hz and it has autofocus and auto keystone also. And it can be installed on the ceiling or on the desk, front or rear. What is good about this projector is also it has its own operating system and Netflix is licensed to work on its operating system, which is very good. Also, this projector can mirror iOS and Android phones and devices and it has a built-in speaker. So this here is a remote control of the video projector. It really is nice. It is not backlit and it is infrared and it has here like shortcuts for the main applications, Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video and the projector also has a browser. This is a projector installed on my tripod and I'll be projecting on this 120 inch screen. So let's start it and show you how to set it up for the first time. And the first thing it asks you is to choose the projector's placement. So here I have the projector placed directly and you notice that the screen is now skewed because the auto keystone is not enabled by default. I'm going to show you how to enable it later. So let's select now this option. And then for the language, I'm going to select English also. And this is here important for the time of the projector. So it will adjust its time automatically when you connect it to the Wi-Fi. So this here is an agreement. Feel free to read it and then select accept. And also read this one if you want and then select accept. And here it will give you the opportunity to connect to the network, either Wi-Fi network or wired network. For me, it will be Wi-Fi. So here I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network and then I'm going to come back after the connection is finished. So now the connection to the Wi-Fi network succeeded. Select OK. And here it will give you the option to set up Netflix. So let me here select Skip. And this is all you have to do for the initial setup. So let's press on OK. And now I'm going to show you the essential setup steps so that to get the most of this projector. So let's go to settings on the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is to adjust the keystone. I'm going to do it on boot and I'm going to do it automatically after I displace the projector. So let's select keystone. And you notice that the auto correction of the keystone is off by default. I'm going to select it to on. So this is after you boot the projector, it will correct the keystone automatically. The second one is already enabled. So let me go back. And now I'm going to move the projector a little bit so that it will arrange the keystone automatically. And you're going to see how it will arrange it. 
So this is a keystone now, and here it is arranged. Now the next setting I'm gonna show you is the focus setting. We're gonna make sure that it is automatic after boot and also automatic after you displace the projector. And this is the case also, which is very good. So let's go back. And now I wanted to show you quickly the operating system of this projector. So I'm gonna go to about, and I'm gonna go to version info. And you see, this is the projector's operating system. It is a proprietary operating system. And the next setting I wanna show you is how to connect this projector to your Bluetooth audio system. So I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. Here I turned on my edifier speakers already and I put them in panning mode. So first you need to enable Bluetooth connection and then it will start scanning for Bluetooth accessories automatically. And here are my edifier speakers. I'm gonna select them and now they will connect to the projector. So this way I can listen to the movies through my edifier speakers. So here they are connected. Another setup tip I'm gonna show you is the audio setup. So let's go to audio. And you notice that by default it comes bass 50, treble 50, and the sound style is user. Let me show you the sound styles here. So you have all these sound styles. You can select either a predefined sound style or keep it on user and then adjust the bass and treble to your liking. So for instance, I like the bass a little bit higher and the treble also a little bit higher. And you see down the digital output mode, it is automatic and this is good. So if it detects that your audio output can support Dolby because this projector supports Dolby, it will switch to Dolby automatically. If you wanna force it, select digital output mode and then here select the mode you want. I'm gonna keep it on auto. And this is an important setting, the dialogue enhancement. In case you watch movies and you notice that the sound of the people is a little bit low. You can go to dialogue enhancement here and put it for instance on low. And this is how I like it. So let's go back. And I'm gonna also show you here what are the best picture settings to my liking. Of course, you may have another opinion on this. If you have another opinion, please let me know in the comments section below. So for the picture mode, let me show you first what are the presets. So you have cinema, you have sport, vivid, high bright, standard and custom. I'm gonna keep it on custom. For the brightness, I like to reduce it by five. So I like to put it on 45. Contrast, I increase it by two. Saturation, I keep it as it is, hue as it is. Sharpness, I go down to 10. And for the color temperature, I liked it on one. So I'm gonna go back and let's go to setup. And under the setup menu, I wanna show you an important thing that in my opinion, it's important to do regularly. So go to internet update check, and then here you can check for software updates. And here it found that there are no updates available. So let's select okay. And here I still want to show you the projection in case you change the location of the projector. For instance, if you wanna project from the rear or if you want to put it on the ceiling, select projection here and select the option you want. And here also this projector has zoom. So now it is zoomed to 100%. I can decrease it if you want like a smaller picture. So here I'm gonna keep it on 100%. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna play a YouTube video on this projector. I'm gonna choose a high quality video. So for you to see this projector's capability when it comes to picture quality. So let's go to YouTube. So this is a high quality video. Let me see what is the maximum resolution I can go up in this video. So it is on the maximum resolution. Notice that the projector will not let you choose 4K because it doesn't have the 4K capability natively. And the picture quality is really good. So now I've put the projector at about two meters from the projection screen and I'm having a picture of around 70 inches and it is really very good. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna launch a 4K video from the USB key that I've put in this projector. And we're gonna see if it can launch a 4K video. So here I went to inputs and under inputs, I'm gonna select USB. And this is my USB key. So this here is a video that is 4K. Let's see if it can display its picture. And unfortunately it couldn't display its picture because it's 4K. And here I have the same video in full HD and it's gonna be able to read it in full HD, video and audio.
what I want to show you now is how to mirror your device on this projector. So here I have an iOS device, which is an iPhone, and I'm going to also show you the Android, how to do to mirror the Android. So to do this on your home screen, go to this icon on the right that has four white squares, and then go to App Assistant. And then here you have something called screen share and screen share is for ios devices so you need to download it just press ok on it and it will download and now it is downloaded so go back and if you're asked to restart your projector restart your projector here because i tested it before it didn't ask me to restart the projector so go to screen share and then you need to launch it and once you launch it on your ios device you need to go to screen mirroring on your iOS device, first make sure that it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your projector and then open the control menu, choose screen mirroring and here you can see the projector, it is K984CA in my case here, so I'm gonna select it and the screen mirroring will start. And here's the screen mirroring, so now I wanna show you what application you need to launch if you wanna cast your Android device, so let's go back here and you need to launch this application that is called Screencast and do the same for your Android device as I've done for my iOS device and it will work here. And if you wanna only mirror an application, you go to Home Share and then you turn on Home Share here. So just press OK on the remote control, it will turn on. And now for instance, you can cast YouTube or other applications that permit casting also on the projector. By the way, if you want to check out this Wymios K9, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. Let me tell you now what I like and what I don't like in this Wymios K9 projector. The first thing that I like about it is that it has a very good image quality and also it has a very good build quality. Also, what I like about it is that the screen casting and screen mirroring works flawlessly on this projector and the fact that it has an integrated operating system and also I like the fact that its fan is not noisy at all. Now what I don't like about it is that its remote control is infrared remote control so you have to point it to the projector for it to work it's not bluetooth or wi-fi. What I also don't like about it is that the sound coming from its internal speakers is a little bit tinny and the last thing I don't like about it is that even though it has an operating system and this is a good point this operating system is proprietary and you cannot find for instance all the applications you want in this operating system. If you like my video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.